What's going on, guys? Get your beach hats on because we are talking about retiring in Thailand and what does it take? Uh, this is kind of a fun thing because this is something that I've talked about a lot. Um, it's like a backup plan, but you know, retiring can mean a lot of things, and the world is a really big place. Uh, some places in the world, your money goes a little bit further than others, and we're going to talk about how to retire excellently in thailand and what it takes how much dividend paying stock you need to get there so that you can never work again live on the beach and retire in glamour okay so we're going to dive into it first we're going to take a look at a couple different apartments just to kind of set the tone here and uh set the expectations for how this budget's going to go all right guys so we have a couple tabs open here we're going to kind of take you through how much money gets you what in Thailand? And the first one we have is the cheapest rental property on the board. This is a monthly price of $152 a month. Um, all of these are in Chonburi. I don't know how to say that. I'm hoping, hope I didn't butcher that. Um, but this location was a uh, background on my computer. Okay, so you know when you turn on your computer and it's like, welcome to Microsoft, and it shows you some surreal place. This was one of them. Looked it up. I was like, wow, this is a really inexpensive place to move. Um, so we're just going to dive into it. So this is what $152 a month gets you in Thailand. Now, location, location, location. You can see this place is a gym. Really just a small little studio. It's a little run down, but it's got a cooktop over here. You got a microwave, you got a fridge, you know, you got a television, a table, you got this bed and a little walkout balcony thing, right? Bathroom's not terrible. It's got a nice stand up shower, Western shower, if you will. Uh, you know, it's got a sink, it's got a toilet and it's got this pool with the view. So, you know, bear, bearing entry into this, $152 a month, guys. That's what you're looking at. If you're willing to sign a one-year lease, that's what you can get. But we're not talking about that. Let's bump it up to 300 bucks a month, right? And let's see what that gets you. So still in a one-bedroom now, um, but it is a one-bedroom. It's not a studio. We're going to scroll through this thing. Look, that's a proper one-bed. Much more space in here. Nice little kitchenette. Definitely a lot cleaner. Um, pretty nice little, little table there. These places all come furnished for the most part. So, you know, you just kind of show up and you've got this, you know, big wardrobe, you got a nice big bed, you got a TV, you got a nice bathroom, you know, this is a nice big walk-in shower here, cool sink. You got a community pool for the complex. You got a gym. Um, and I think that's the end of the pictures, but guys, that's 300 us dollars a month. <laughs> like if this place was near where I live, uh, realistically safe to say, I think this would cost about three grand, 3,500 a month, something like that. Um, so, you know, great, great deal there. It's, it's like 10% off. Um, but again, we're not stopping there. For an extra $33 a month for those serious spenders, we can dive into a single family home. Um, so this, we have a two bed, uh, two bed, one bath, nice little house, you know, decent sized rooms here, kitchen, meh, but you have a gated home <laughs> with a driveway. There's a couch in the driveway. I don't know what that's about. But this place, you're talking $333 a month. You can see why this is a pretty attractive place to potentially retire early. Um, now, big jump here. Big, big, big jump, right? We're at $545 a month. This is actually getting up to, you know, a roommate situation in a bunch of the Midwestern cities. So this is like, you know, it's a little bit more. But at $545 a month, you know, we have a very nice place here. You have a nice patio, you know, good amount of space, proper kitchen. You got the washer dryer. You have the big fridge. You have the little, you know, dining table thing. Good size living room, bedrooms, great. You know, that's there's a little office room. Nice place, um, $545 a month. All right. 
for a similar price, right? If you don't want as much space, you can go with the condo option, gets you right on the beach. Um, you know, opening your blinds and just looking straight into the ocean every single day. Obviously, this place isn't as nice, but the location's insane. You got a pool, you got a private beach. You know, this is like living at a resort. I mean, the kitchen. Yeah, let's forget about the kitchen. But <laughs> the rest of this place is amazing. Look at this. This is paradise. And it's paradise for 561 US dollars a month. But again, we're not stopping there. If you would like to go a little bigger, 606 bucks a month. Let's check out this place. And we're not topping out until we're at about 818 bucks a month and we'll start our calculation. But this, this place right here is the first place that I would actually look at and say, I could live here for the rest of my life. You got a good yard, you know, good little driveway for your scoot scoot. You got the little walkout patio thing. You know, the bathrooms are nice. The rooms are pretty big. Uh, I just want to go back to this living room area. Like, this is nice. It's clean. It's modern. I, I really do like it a lot. I like the, the kitchen layout. feels real. This feels like somewhere I could actually cook a little bit in there. Um, so $606, in, in my opinion, is kind of my point of entry for long-term retirement, at least for what I would want for myself. Um, but gorgeous place, a lot of space, which is nice. Um, right after that, right? You bump that up 200 bucks, similar setup, gigantic private pool. So you can see where that extra $200 comes in. You know, the furnishings are nicer, uh, or at least in my opinion, kitchen's bigger. You got the dual plasma TVs. You got the, you know, everything this house has. It's stellar. That like... Again, if this was in LA or something with that giant pool right outside, you're talking 1.2 mil at least, you know, decent setup for the kitchen, nice bathrooms, big bathrooms, you know, car park, which is great. And it walks straight into the house. Uh, you absolutely love it. And this is not the, the property that I think that I would move to. That's the craziest part. Okay. So for an extra couple bucks, and this is to my taste, right? To a lot of people, this is a gorgeous spot, but this is what I would settle on. So eight, $818 a month. This is a two bedroom condo that I just found with two bathrooms. And look at how swanky this place is. You have these, these lighting. It, it looks like a, like a gaming PC that I would have built. You know I mean? This thing is insane. Look at that view. You have the deck straight over the ocean with the mountains in the background. You know, these this place comes furnished, guys. So you just walk in, you just move in, sign a lease, and boom. You got a nice little kitchen in the back, you know, usable space there. You have the proper bedrooms. Wait till you see the bathroom of this master. Bang! <laughs> guys, this looks like the resort at the Lotte in South Korea in Seoul. I have stayed there. I thought it was incredible. This looks exactly like it. You have the, the big shower here with the waterfall shower head. You have the um, you know incredible bathtub, which actually has a shower head in it, which I love. And what you can do is you just have a little screen go across this glass. So if you want privacy, you have it. If you don't, you can just look straight out into the ocean. I mean, look at this view from the master just straight into the ocean. It's incredible. You know, you have, uh, it's, I, I just, I can't get over how nice this bathroom is. It's so nice. You know, the views are impeccable. You have the walkout balcony, which is just stellar. You have a little guest room here uh, or, or second bedroom, whatever also has a balcony and then check this oh, so that's that's their bathroom for the second for the uh, second bedroom but check this balcony out wrap around massive outdoor high-rise terrace again overlooking the ocean I couldn't think of a better place to be retired just sit out there you know cranking out a YouTube video working on my portfolio stuff you know maybe do a little side hustle thing whatever. 
But what a view sitting in this chair over here, overlooking the city, overlooking, you know, again, greenery and the ocean. Just, just there's so few perfect places. And I feel like this snapshot is one of them. I, I just think this place is absolutely gorgeous. So this is where we're going to start our journey um, for how much will it cost us to retire in this place? This place is is what we're talking about, all right? Because we want to do it for real. We don't want to just have like a retirement where we're sad and depressed. Like we want people to come out because they're like, dude, my boy lives in Thailand and you should see this dude's place. Like it's a place to go and we're going to live it up. Um, and we want people to visit and all that because we still want to see our friends and family from back home. Um, and I feel like this is the spot. So we're going to use this figure. Rent is $818 a month. And as always, we are going to dive into handy dandy Microsoft Paint. All right. So Operation Thailand has commenced. What we're going to do here is we're going to go through our expenses and find out first how much is it going to cost us to actually live in Thailand lavishly. Okay. Again, this is a retirement that's going to be awesome and we want to live it up and do it all right. All right. So the first thing that we have on here is our rent. All right. So we're settling on that, that high rise with the panoramic wraparound deck and the gorgeous views and the, the rainfall showers and the, the soaking tub and the master bedroom. Like we want it all. All right with the RGB looking like my gaming rig. So that's what we need. We're going for rent 818, all right? Obviously, when you move somewhere, rent is not the only expense. So I've taken the time to itemize these out. Next is healthcare, all right? So they say that on average, someone's gonna spend about $180 to 220. So I just kind of took the middle and said, it's gonna be 200 bucks a month for healthcare. So we gotta factor that in because you wanna make sure that you know you're, you have good private healthcare. This is private top-notch healthcare rates. Um, not like a affordable thing, like this is, this is good. Again, this is a lavish life. I'm trying to set us up well all right next your visa right so basically uh every 90 days you're going to need to step out of the country step back in sign up for another visa so if you budget 20 dollars a month then you can afford your 58 dollar visa that will last you 90 days um so that is something that you're going to have to kind of watch out for and and make sure you don't mess that up but, uh, you know, use that as your ex as your excuse to travel. Maybe you take a trip to Jeju, you know, and enjoy Jeju for a weekend. Or maybe you, uh, you know, fly to, to, you know, Hong Kong, check that out, you know, wherever you want. There's a lot of worlds to check out. And it's a great excuse to renew your visa, I think. Um, but we're going to assume that you just like step out and step back into the country. That's going to be your 20 bucks uh a month or or 58 dollars is what it actually is every three months food all right this is gonna get me kind of yelled at i think potentially because food in thailand does not cost 500 dollars a month it just absolutely doesn't there's no way um so what i did was i looked up the most expensive restaurants and the average plate for a high-end restaurant, right, or the average meal at a high-end restaurant, including like a drink or whatever, is sixteen dollars and fifty cents um, per day. Sorry, if if you're eating out at like high-end restaurants, you're going to spend sixteen dollars and fifty cents per day. So I took that, multiplied it by thirty-one days, just to make sure we were good. And it was less than 500 and I rounded it up to 500 because again, we are living like royalty out there. We're trying to retire like, you know, kings, queens, whoever you are, like we're trying to do this legit. All right. So 500 bucks for food, way overkill. A lot of people say you can get by on like $3 a day and eat pretty well. So yeah, that's what we're talking about. Scoot, scoot. You got to have a scooter when you're, when you're in Thailand. You got to be able to get around. Um, 
you know, here in the US, I drive a BMW F900R. That's their sport bike. So to me, I'm very comfortable on a scooter, very comfortable on motorcycles, mopeds, what have you. Um, so I'd be super stoked to pick up a nice little scooter, you know, whether I buy it and make payments on it for 120 a month or, uh, they rent for about a hundred and then the petrol's about 20. So, um, that's where the 120 comes from. I would probably, when I got there, just buy a scooter, uh, realistically, I would probably do that or, or a motorcycle or something like that. But, you know, you can rent the scooter, uh, for a hundred bucks. That looks like a good option. Again, I, I'm all about it. I love Scooter Gang. I'm, I'm totally in on that. Um, utilities. So utilities is a little bit different over there than it is here. Like if you rent a place, you're going to have to pay for your water. Usually you're going to have to pay your electric, which is pretty normal. Um, but I also want to include in that like my cell phone because it, it does cost about 50 bucks a month to get a cell phone over there. You know, utilities are pretty cheap over there. So looking into that, I uh, did it out, was about 140 bucks. And that includes like Netflix um, and and Crunchyroll, to be honest. I, I'm, you know, I'm a little bit of a nerd. I love my Crunchyroll. Uh, I'm big into anime, so I'm going to have that over there too. But that all came out to 140 based off averages. Um, so we're pretty safe on that. Might go up, might go down. Uh, just depends. But that is... The electric bill was based off of somebody who constantly runs the AC. So I made sure to, to look that up because Thailand is hot. It's a tropical beach place. Okay, so uh, that is based off air conditioning on all the time. Fun, right? <laughs> so fun is important. I feel like it's good to just have 300 bucks set aside for if you want to do something, if you want to go out, if you want to go to a bar, if you want to rent a jet ski, if you want to do anything, it's good to have money set aside that's just, hey, yeah, why don't we do this? No problem. We got it in the budget. You know, that might be let's hop a flight and go to another city. Like I was saying with the visa thing, you know, maybe you take an extra hundred bucks one month uh, and, and budget for a flight to one of the local countries. Um, so yeah, just an option there, but, but it's definitely, you want to have some fun. You want to be able to do some stuff while you're over there. A maid, right? You can get a, a maid to come and clean everything for $65 a month. That is the biggest no brainer of my life. I don't want to be in retirement getting in fights about who's clean and what and what's not clean and any of that. That's crazy. We're retired and we're living like royalty. So I want to I want a maid, you know, so those cost about 65 bucks over there. And, and I guess they just to take care of the house, which is awesome. And for $65, I mean, that's, that's a no brainer. Um, but yeah, I guess, I guess you can have a maid at your house for 65 bucks. That's, that's a steal. And then lastly, miscellaneous expenses, $200. Okay. So I don't want to speak down on anything or, or, or come off negative, but you're looking at going to a completely random country. You got to have a miscellaneous fund. Like you just need it. You never know. You might get ripped off by a taxi cab, end up in a totally different city. And you're sitting there like, oh man, I really wish I had 200 bucks right now to take a rickshaw halfway across a country. Like you just don't know. The crazy things could happen to you. You might have something stolen and you need to replace it. You know, Thailand is a very safe place according to statistics, but that doesn't mean that things don't still happen. You know what I mean? Like there's some very safe places in the country, very wealthy places right now where there's like heinous crimes going on and, and it's, it's, it blows everybody's minds because they think, Oh, that could never happen here. But um, you know, you want to have a miscellaneous fund for, for backup, for emergency, you know, maybe you have to hop on a flight, go back to the U S for something, you know, it's good to kind of, kind of compile that as a savings account. So what that leads us with is a total need of $2,363 a month. That is total. That is it. That is all that you need. So for $2,363, you have the high rise, you know, penthouse style wraparound 
patio thing on the beach. You've got five star restaurants for every meal of every day. You got a scooter. You have the best private health care. You have your utilities covered. You got a bonus fund of 300 extra bucks to just go zip lining through the mountains. You got a private maid cleaning your house, picking up after you, taking care of stuff, and you're still setting aside money in case something crazy happens. That's a good setup. So now, how are we going to get there? Okay, this is the important part. All right, so I have a dividend calculator set up here. This is going to break down how much money I'll be earning in a year if I keep up the same pace of investing as I am right now, just with the account on our channel. All right, so we're putting $50 a day in onto our channel, which is a total annual contribution of $13,000. Just to get the starting investment balance, I put $100 a share. Currently, we are at $1,044 in the account. Um, so that shows a total investment amount of $1,044. All right. So I have our holding period set to 10 years. Uh, the average dividend yield of my portfolio is 6.9%, which is distributed quarterly. Some of them are monthly, but I don't want to put monthly because I don't want to run this calculation uh, in favor of the monthly stuff. I'd rather downplay it. So this will be a little bit safer of a calculation. Um, but again, we have the annual contribution is 13,000. Uh, annual dividend increase, 3%, and annual share increase, 3%, and then with DRIP. DRIP is dividend reinvestment plan. So that means anytime that I get paid a dividend or anytime I get paid because I'm a shareholder of a company, it will use that money to automatically repurchase more shares of that stock. So we're going to calculate my returns. And after 10 years, that's a pretty high balance. Um, so let's take a look down here. You know, by year two, we'll be getting $1,064 of annual dividends. Uh, that's not quite enough. As we follow that down all the way to the bottom, we will have 18420 a year of dividend payments. So 10 years at this rate, isn't going to cut it for us. Um, let's see what happens if we get an annual return of 5% with a dividend increase of 5% also, which is like really more realistic anyway. Um, if that's the case, then in 10 years, we will receive 25,797. Ooh, that's pretty close. Uh, twenty-five seven ninety-seven point seventy-one divided by twelve. So we're at twenty-one forty-nine. We're pretty much there. Looks like we'll need to just invest for one more year. Let's see what one more year gets us. Thirty-three two eighty-six. All right. So, um, let's just run that really quick. Thirty-three two eighty-six point nine seven. Divided by 12. So that's 2773 a month. So not only will we have enough money to cover our uh you know our 2300 bucks, but we'll actually be able to reinvest five hundred dollars uh a month back into this, so it'll just keep growing and growing and growing. This idea I love because one big thing, right? Maybe you want to just kind of half retire and move to Thailand for like three, four years. You know, finally take a breather, live in paradise, do something weird for a while, right? Just change it up. You know, that doesn't mean that's what you always want to do. Eventually, yeah, you probably want to come back to the States and, and, and you know, live back here or, or try somewhere else. And if I have that extra 500 bucks a month that I'm just reinvesting on top of growing my dividends and growing the portfolio's wealth, you're basically setting yourself up for retirement again or retirement inflation. So you can live better and better every couple of years, every three, four years, um, which is awesome. <laughs> like also, you know, 
not for nothing, by this point, you have $300,000 sitting in the bank. So if you have 300 grand sitting in the bank for, you know, investing like $143,000, like that's awesome. You've got a ton of money there. So if something does happen, you're like, oh man, Thailand didn't work out. That's not what I thought it was. I'm going to go back to the States and, and, and buy a house. Like you can do that. <laughs> which is great. So pretty awesome. Um, you know, at the savings rate we're, we're at right now with the channel, 11 years um, based off our, our returns, we should be able to retire like royalty in Thailand. Um, now, I'm not a wealth manager, credit counselor, or financial advisor, but hopefully you find this information to be pretty cool, pretty entertaining. I think it's motivating knowing that I have like you know, you know what? I'm just going to move abroad and live in paradise. That sounds great. I'm going to wear my hat all the time. Maybe be that speedo guy. Probably not. Nobody wants to see that. Um, but <laughs> yeah, I think it's awesome that, you know, 11 years of saving, you can literally never work again, depending on where you decide to live. And again, you can definitely bring that cost down of living. Remember the first place that we looked at was a decent little spot and it was $152 a month as opposed to $818 a month. There was a lot of good options in between. So, you know, um, let me know what your retirement goals are going forward. Um, if you do want to get into investing and you haven't, there's a link to SoFi investing uh, down in the description. Uh, if you deposit 10 bucks, they do give you $25 of free stocks. So that's a really good return on investment anyway. Um, but yeah, if you want to get into investing, it's fun. It's cool. And uh, it's good to have a long-term goal. With that though, roll the outro.